Y'all, this Kroger commercial low-key slaps. It's starting, baby. Episode two, let's freaking go. Look at that fine piece of ass. Can I get an amen, ladies? Okay, first thought is, I need to try it a little bit. I'm just really happy because I feel like there's a bunch of really sweet girls on this show, um, like on this season. Like, I feel like a majority of them are more so happy for the girl getting the one-on-one -on -one date rather than being like bitter. So I really like that. The reality of the situation is that we're all here to date Matt. We're not here to be in a sorority. Victoria's lashing out. Okay, no. Mm -mm. I don't like her. Well, the second I say I'm so happy that there are girls here that are like actually happy for the other girls getting the one-on-one -on -one dates and then five seconds later Victoria is like all the girls that are happy for Brie are just fake bitches like no, no, you're just a bitch Sorry That was mean. I feel bad, but like god. She's just so mean. I hope she's not actually like that in real life What do you guys think? Do you think she's just like a biatch or do you think it's just like the show making her look like one because I know that like they can do that because I mean at the end of the day it's reality TV so they do have to find a way to keep things juicy so oh I swear I would have freaked out if I was on that four-wheeler and he flipped it what a good sport she is oh my sweet Jesus is anybody else crying wowzes Oh my god, she's so cute too. I love it. Um, another thought. Did you hear the way she said sorority? I have a friend here with me. She says sorority. Not sorority. Sorority. Like, ew, I don't like you. I would do it for Matt, but it would still be like, I would rather wait for a one on one. I have sympathy for her because you don't want someone to be getting ganged up on on one hand, but on the other, like, stop. Sorry, being an idiot. I think Victoria's dealing with a lot of her own insecurities right now, but the last thing I want is drama. I do not like this girl, we Alexa. Together, she literally said to the girls, be positive, but she's the one being negative. These, All the other girls are just making the most of not being on the date, and she's just upset about it. Like, sweetie, calm down. Psychologically disturbed. Baby girl, you're psychologically disturbed. Do you hear the words coming out of your mouth? Do you see the way that you're treating these people? Her name, her career on there literally I says know. queen. That's what I said. I just noticed that. That's Victoria's I thing what she actually does. literally says queen. That place is so nice. Is homegirl low-key a queen? Can you imagine your date with somebody like pretending to get married? Boys our age in this generation would never. You say one word about just the topic of marriage and they're gone. They're fucking out the door, you're stood up. No way this would, this would not go down. She did not just do that. She did not just do that. Her, her black bra just like popped out. Homegirl, homegirl grabbed his face and made out with him. I could read his body language. From what it looked like, he was not into it. No way. Does anybody know if Chris Harrison's married? Because I would date him. We all know I like an older man by now. Do you know? Is he married? I don't know. I've never. He doesn't have a ring on. I don't know anything about his personal life. I feel like he's so focused on everyone else's love life that he can't focus on his own. But that's where I come in. That's where I come in to play Chris Harrison. Jokes only. I feel so bad, but her hair and those pigtails. Y'all already know who I'm talking about. And I hate that you can see her black bra. Y'all, I did sign up to be on this show, but whenever I think about having to do the activities on this show, I get, I feel sick to my stomach already. I'm not even on the show. But I think about having to do this kind of stuff. You do? Like, do you, you know, like picture having to be that. Like, I'm not competitive, I'm not athletic. <laughs> girl that fell would be me. <laughs> I would just be chewing my head, but maybe by then I'll be good. It depends if I like the activity or not. Yeah. Like if I like but it's it, always like all sports. In. It's always like but athletic. Yeah, and I'm not athletic either. And I'm not either. I guess it's just weird because like, it's just like technically second date. And yeah. you're crying over him. I mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I can't really, it couldn't be me. <laughs> I get teary eyed in the show. show my support. Y'all, is it bad that I'm getting jealous when he kisses other girls? I like your jawline. Because I like him. <laughs> 
step aside, ladies. He's mine. Oh, he just seems so solid. Why you the way you are, and I love that about you. He loves that about her? Because I enjoy this He's so cute and sweet. He's like, yeah. Oh my god. I haven't been deep with a guy like that in a while. Oh my god. I feel like I look like her. Shut up. You don't. You don't. Like, it scares me. I don't think she's ugly. I just think she's annoying. I think she's ugly. I think she's not ugly. Alexa! They're so cute together. You guys, she is just gorgeous. Look at her. Are you allowed to opt out of these activities? Because I wouldn't do it. That's another thing. I feel like I'm a scaredy cat. But maybe I could face my fears on the show. There's an idea. I can't even watch this show because she... Alexa is literally messaging Victoria. On Instagram oh. right now, you <laughs> saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. She literally said, and I verbatim, <laughs> Hey, baby girl. I had to say something to get her attention. an inspirational person. Are you watching tonight? I'm in LA, so not yet. Right? <laughs> but y'all, like, this is real life. Is this her real account? I only said that to get her attention because... Why not? Because... Say, yeah. start talking back, have like meaningful conversation. Okay, and I'm, I'm listening to this now. I need a moment, I need to get to know this girl. <laughs> this is a lot. She's opening this up. Life, I'm like actually tearing uh, up. I think she's so sweet. She's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm like crying over here, and you're like focused on messaging Victoria. I can't with Victoria. you. Victoria! I'm literally hitting on Victoria right now. <laughs> oh, that just gave me chills and gave me tears. Teary eyes. He asked how he could help her through the process with her dad. Just being as real as possible. I like her. Aw, oh, she so deserves that rose. She is so deserving. Toxic energy? Oh my god. And your dress is toxic. Her dress is what's toxic. So it's like me being an empath, and if I'm around that energy, it can Being an empath means you have empathy for others, which means most of the time you're sweet. I'm an empath. I think I am. That, you being an empath has nothing to really do with that. Oh, like. Marilyn was my roommate, and like, What's your roommate? yeah, and like she just like cries. Oh, okay, that's immature. Just share your drama with him. Yeah. So like, I had to sleep on the couch temporarily because having she just asked me to in the house. It's really hard. Yeah. Like you've had that experience, so like it was crazy. Yeah. So guys hate drama. This is not happening. She's just so toxic. I mean, life goes on. All she can say is toxic. Like, how was she being toxic? If she says toxic, I want to take a shot every time this girl says toxic. New drinking game, guys. Oh my gosh, she didn't even give real examples. It was like shocking when she was like that. She didn't even say anything she said. She's just saying she's toxic. Bitch, you're toxic. Dark chocolate pretzel for a dark chocolate man. Mm. I'm coming for you, Matt. Here we go. Drama. Episode two. That's what I'm here for, baby. Yeah. Hi. Do you mind if we have a conversation? Oh, now they're going to talk. That's awkward. I feel like you should join the talk. It's freezing. We'll give you a moment. I'm not going outside. It's freezing. You can sit there. I see that's so immature. She's being so mature by coming and talking to her. Oh, she's so rude. Oh my god. 
you feel this way and I acknowledge that you feel this way and regardless of what happened oh, like Wow, she's actually being so mature Awesome I mentioned that you think that I'm toxic and manipulative I do think you are those things Yes, you are. But I think that we can come to an understanding. I really do believe that we can if we try. I don't care to. I do not say those things. I need a break. Oh my god. Oh my god. I genuinely care about human connection and getting to know someone. And Marilyn took advantage of that. And believe me, I'm just straight up crazy. No, you cannot have a raw right now. I'm feeling sick to my stomach because of this girl. Those are the kind of girls that I do not vibe with. And she needs to be taken off the show immediately. She's toxic and she's the problem. That girl was so kind. She was like, I vow that you like, or I value that you feel that way. Like she was very mature whenever she approached her. She just said she hated her. Do you, she doesn't even know her. Okay, I don't want I like her, so I don't want to think that that was fake, but um, but maybe they told her that she needed to do that. I don't know. Or maybe it's real. I don't know. To be continued? Seriously? Are you serious? I feel like they paid her to literally come on the show and just stir up drama. Probably. Go home, go home, go home, go home. Literally. 